Hello Dave, this is Dave from ChiefTutor.com and David Michael Designs. I saw your posting on Chief Talk and um, I see you're struggling with the roofs. Don't worry about that. That's uh, very common with Chief. Uh, roofs are, I think, one of the most difficult things to work with with Chief. But once you understand how Chief puts together a roof, it actually becomes quite easy to manipulate roofs and make them do exactly what you want to do. I see you kind of posted a little plan where you wanted these high gable roofs and then you had um, a PDF that you attached to say that you wanted a high gable over the front door another high gable to the right of it and then high gables over the garage door now I'm assuming this plan is flipped compared to yours because I know your garage is over here so let's go ahead and get started I'll show you <clears throat> kinda how I like to do things when I'm working in the roof mode I don't like to look at all this extra junk so I immediately go either to the roof plan set or the aerial view set and I know she got baseline polylines now baseline polylines are great they're wonderful I love to work with them but in this case I think we can get to where we need to go through automatic build so we don't need to use these baseline polylines I'm gonna to go to my actor layer sets and I guess you don't see this because of my screen so I'm gonna move my screen in a bit and I'm gonna say select all <clears throat> And I'm going to turn the display off because I'm going to customize my aerial view. What I do want to see is I want to see walls normal and I'm going to lock them. <clears throat> I want to see windows and I'll lock them and I want to see doors and I'll lock them. And then of course I want to mess with the roof. So I'm going to say roof planes and these baselines. Turn those all on. I can also turn on labels. <clears throat> Any openings, ridge gaps. I think that's fine where it's at. Okay, so with that set, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the things I don't want, which are your baseline polylines. I'm also going to go to my build roof and say automatically build roofs. I see you have it set to 10 and build roofs, so I'm just going to click OK. And if we go to our 3D view, we see this crazy thing because I think what's happening is you've already assigned a lot of walls uh, to generate gable. And if that is correct, I would just open up one of these walls, go to my roof tab and see, yeah, you have it selected as full gable. So it's not to confuse me. Again, I want to go back to the basics. So what I'm going to do is go into my wall tool and holding down shift. Now I'm in wall mode. I hold down shift. I'm going to drag select all my walls. So I'm going to drag select all my walls and it won't capture any of them because I have my walls locked on my layers. So I gotta go back down here to walls normal unlock real quick. So now I can select all my walls. I'm gonna open them up. And in this tab, I'm gonna to go to the roof tab and just make sure it's all unchecked for full gable. And now it's building a little bit better than what it was before. I gotta leave it unlocked. Okay, hit spacebar and zoom in. Okay. and let's take a look <clears throat> okay now I could have left the gable here and here because that was generating correctly but over here it was not so I left them all back to normal or I pushed them all back to normal so that we can kind of see and trace what I'm doing with the manual roofs because I think manually building this roof would be a lot better and quicker for you okay so I noticed this gable stayed on and it might have been because the invisible wall was not treated to that same gift of removing the full gable. And there it goes, it generates back down. Okay, well, we want these to be walls anyway, because if we refer back to your, your picture, you have like a full entrance there, with full walls there with a big entrance. So <clears throat> what we want to do there is use these walls and go ahead and draw our little area and then we can correct anything we might need. So I'm going to do a doorway, put it in the middle. So yes, I'm going to go back to my default view uh, so I can work with this easier. Because <clears throat> right now we're working with the actual plan. So let's go uh, 6 feet by oh, 12 feet. <clears throat> arch it, broken arch, maybe 8, maybe 12. And then go back to my aerial set, if I can select it correctly. And I'm going to 
remove the parts that I don't need, which is this hip, this hip, this hip, and this hip. And I just pull the rest forward and create my gables. It's just as easy as that. I'm going to turn off auto roof builds because I'm going to make my own manually now. I'm going to delete this one and pull this one forward. I'm going to delete this one, pull him forward. <clears throat> I'm going to delete this guy and pull him forward and just follow. Follow the craziness. I'm going to grab this one, drag him forward. And I know that this roof is cutting through my walls here, so it's not going to look too good in 3D just yet. See how it's generating here? But if I go back here, I can manipulate this one, pull it back, and then move him in. <clears throat> so there we go. Now I'm getting a nice, clean look. This guy, of course, needs to be the same as your walls below. Siding 6, something like that. Okay. There. And then you can just color the walls the way you want to color them, and you should be good to go. This one we might need to back off just a little, because it doesn't look like it was flowing with the with the colors okay on the siding there. And now let's do these up in front, just to match. So again, I'm going to delete this bad boy, and I'm going to delete this bad boy, and I'm going to pull him forward. I'm going to pull him forward. And do the same here. Grab handle, pull him forward, pull him all the way out, <clears throat> and grab this one, pull him forward. And again, using my same trick, I know that this is cutting into my walls, so I'm going to have to bring him back to where it's straight, and then butt him up against that wall there. And so now in camera view, we have a nice clean look on our roofs. The only other thing left to do on a roof tweak for this particular design is I think it was looking better as box eaves. So I went into the general tab and we just select the ones we want to be boxed. We set the distance of our box eave and there we go. And that was just down to, I, I colored mine with stone to match your, um, what was it, your, your stone here face. And then I added the gables in the windows. And it's just as easy when you want to add a window to add a window. You can double click it, reshape it maybe to 36 and you know maybe shutters. You got all that. This is kind of the, the basic silly stuff. And they can add vents and whatnot up top as well. And then um, keeping the casing here it works good for when you're adding the stone. And um, see I had some stone textures that Sometimes I like to use, but you know the best ones are the manufacturer ones. They have some really good ones. Eldorado Stone is pretty good. There's a few others down here, I think. Now oh, let's just use Eldorado Stone. We'll use this bad boy and... Yeah, something rocky. Rocky Mountain High. So when you apply it to the face and using X8, which is great because now we can apply to certain things. Then we can apply it to the molding. And then we can beef up that molding, that casing. Make it more like 8 or something. So it's it's nice and... Whoop! I made it on the wrong side, didn't I? <laughs> 8 for the inside is not as good as 8 from the outside. So you can really see it starting to take form which is really nice. And then, of course, you can raise the door and raise all that. But this is how you mess with the roofs, getting it to that design that you're after. Hope this video helps explain. And if not, I'll make another one. Really? You'll do that? No, no, I'm not going to do that.